Hello fellow residents of Tamriel, this is the Beeve once again. Haven't been uploading too many videos, I've been spending a lot of time on the private test servers, or public test servers, to get a, try to get a head start on this update 24 that's coming. I don't know if most of you have been keeping up with this, but the update 24 started off very uh, negatively. There were a lot of things that were being nerfed, and costs were being increased on those things that they nerfed. Uh, there was enough feedback and pushback from the community that uh, they still did nerf some things, but not nearly as bad as they had originally. Uh, the cost increases are still there, though. So, But I, uh, I have been able to you know, come up with a few builds that put out very good DPS, and have very good sustainability as well. So I wanted to kind of go over those. Uh, first off, I'm um, going to be trying to put out a few videos over the next couple of days. I got a new job starting real soon, which are going to be 12-hour day jobs. So uh, it's going to limit my ability to do uh, more videos. I'm going to try to do them as often as possible. Um, if, uh, if my videos have helped you out in the past or you like what you've seen, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, that improves my likelihood of being seen by other people so that uh, more people can uh, get the content and you know we can help out more people in the long run as well. I'm not trying to become YouTube famous by any means for any of this, but I would like to be able to help other people and have a wider uh, array of audience as well. So, with all that being said... Uh, I've been talking with a friend of mine in, uh, in a guild that uh, we shoot ideas back and forth with each other. And a lot of times he will send me ideas. He'll be like, hey, why don't, look, why don't you try this and this and put them together and see what you can come up with. This is the way I'd like to do it. Uh, try it that way and then see if you can improve on it. And we've been you know, shooting these ideas back and forth to each other and uh, just trying to help keep people ahead of that update 24 curve that's going to be coming. Um, as of this moment, they have announced it. It'll, it'll be happening the 21st of October for PC, and consoles will be getting it on November 5th. So these these changes are coming right around the corner. This These videos I'm going to be putting up over the next couple days are going to pertain to when that happens. What you're using now is just fine for now, up until November 5th. After that, that is when the changes take place, and that is what these builds right here are going to be for. I'm trying to get them done now so they're up uh, early enough for people to, you know, know that it's coming and uh, give, them a, give them a good way, a good idea of being able to, you know, fix any problems that they could have come patch time. Now, out of my realm of uh, normality here, I am using a Madge Warden, and I'm liking this Madge Warden a lot. Um, it is a uh, very viable class. Uh, I had one of these before in the past, didn't go over very well for me, I kind of just left it, left it laid, didn't really worry with it. Um, they've done some tweaking to the Warden and changed some things since the last time I played one, and... Uh, they're, 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 they're doing pretty good. I'll show you exactly what I got going on. But with this Madge Warden, uh, go over gear first. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but you guys know I can never do that. So, so gear, first off, I am using the Maelstrom Lightning Staff. This is not a necessity. You will still get good damage with this build without the Maelstrom Lightning Staff. But it is uh, infused, and it has the weapon damage uh, enchantment on it. Now my next staff is my Lightning Staff of Mother Sorrow. Uh, it's got a shock damage glyph on it, and it is precise. This uh, this Mother Sorrow Lightning Staff, I've went over this before, very easy to get. You can get it for free. All you gotta do is, in Dusan, down in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, on Dusan, there's a Way Shrine that uh, was right beside Silent Mire, there is a quest in Silent Mire that if you complete it, you get a green lightning mother, light, lightning staff, a mother sorrow, 
Uh, it's called the Argonia Muckminder of Mother Sorrow, and it is a infused lightning staff that you can get for free. Don't have to pay a dime for it. And you can use one on each hand as well. So if you don't have a Maelstrom Lightning Staff, you can use, you can take two different characters, both take both of them in, do the Silent Mire quest, have two Argonian Muckminders, a Mother Sorrow, put one on each hand, and you're good to go. So uh, you will get the weapons free of charge. You don't have to pay for it. Now, I am using Zahn's Visage. This might be the most difficult part of this particular build that I'm the first one I'm showing you right here to do because uh, Zahn is a uh, Gale Caller Peak on Vet. If you don't already have it uh, or don't have the ability to get it, maybe you're too low of a level or just don't have a good group and you've struggled with pugs, whatever, uh, Valken Scoria and Alumbris are both good uh, options to put here as well. They won't do as good a damage as Zahn does, but they will still do good damage. And with Falcon Scoria and Alumbris, one of the benefits that you have to those, with Zahn, you have to be within 8 meters, so you're pretty close to the fight. With Alumbris and Falcon Scoria, you can stay in more range. So if you'd like to be more at range, that Falcon Scoria or that Alumbris might actually work better for you. And with this ability, we all, we do have, with this setup, we do have some lightning skills and we do have some fire skills. So you have the possibility of being able to um, proc both sets, uh, both both procs of that Alumbris and getting the lightning and the fire meteor showers uh, back to back or at the same time. And it looks pretty cool when they both come down at the same time, to be honest. Uh, I am also using uh, Necropotence. This can be found in uh, Rivenspire. I am using a Warden, that, had, and I'm using that Eternal Guardians, that bear stays out all the time, that is a pet. So I do get all the benefits from the Necropotence. So, really easy set to get as well. You can get it in Traders, just like you can get the Mother Sorrow in trainers, uh, Traders. So these are sets that you can easily farm, or even go buy if you have the gold to do so. I have everything in Divine. Now, I am carrying gold jewelry of Mother Sorrow, all with spell damage on them, and all with Bloodthirsty. I prefer Bloodthirsty. Uh, Arcane and Infused and Bloodthirsty are all going to parse relatively similar, to be honest with you. So, it's kind of just uh, your own personal play style, however you want to do it. But if you don't want to use the crystals to transmute three pieces of jewelry... Arcane is just fine in this situation. I actually have videos up showing where purple arcane jewelry did outperform gold, uh, gold uh, bloodthirsty jewelry by like a thousand DPS and a parse. But uh, they, they they parse relatively similar, so not a big deal. Looking at my character sheet, first off, we are running the Shadow Mundus Stone, and I am running the new Disastrously Bloody Mara, which is basically, it's the same stats you get from Double Bloody Mara, except it does add health recovery as well. Shadow Mundus Stone, all my stuff's in uh, Divines, so I get 19% more critical damage done, which comes into play big time when you're using a Mother Sorrow set. All my points are in Magicka. Uh-oh. 15 minutes for maintenance. I'll try to get through this real quick. <laughs> I did not know this was going to happen. Okay, so maximum Magicka, 44,000. Maximum health, 17,000. Uh, spell damage, 2115. Spell critical, 66.1. It's going to change when I go over onto my Lightning Staff bar or my Maelstrom Staff bar. Uh, max magic is still 44,000, health still 17,000, spell damage, uh, still 2115, uh, oh, critical has dropped, because I'm using the, the Maelstrom Lightning Staff, so I'm not getting all five pieces of, uh, bonus on the Mother Sorrow in the front bar. Uh, if you do have, if you don't have the Maelstrom Staff, you will get that bonus on both bars, so you'll be critting pretty often on the front bar as well, so you, you won't see too much of a difference between the Maelstrom Lightning Staff and the, 
Mother Sorrow. I say too much of a difference. You're going to see a difference. You really are, because that, 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 that Maelstrom Lightning Staff hits like a truck. But the uh, difference is probably going to be no more than 3k DPS. Though it's not a necessity by any means. It really isn't, guys. All right. Try to do this quickly here, guys. So we'll just go over Blue Tree. 56 Elfborn, 49 Elemental Defender, 31 Spell Erosion, 19 Staff Expert, 40 at all, Master at Arms, 75 Thermaturge. Uh, in my green tree, I am going to use a heavy attack rotation because of the new cost increase. It, it makes it a little bit hard to sustain. So we're going to use a heavy attack rotation, so 75 in Tenacity, 75 in Arcanist. Our skills that we're using, not to go too much into depth on them here, Unstable Wall of Storms, Winner's Revenge, which is, in my opinion, this is the best secondary AoE damage over time in the game right now. Uh, the cost on it is less than three, a little under three grand. The damage of it is 2,789 frost damage every second. Um, that's better than your Lightning Floods for the Sorks. That's better than your... Uh, consuming trap that's better than your uh, soul splitting trap. This is probably, in my opinion, the best uh, secondary. Uh, uh, I shouldn't even call it secondary. It might be. It, this could possibly be the best uh, AOE damage over time in the game right now. That isn't an ultimate. I mean, that's that is that that's huge. Twenty seven eighty nine frost damage for twelve seconds. It does slow the enemies as well, and has a higher chance of applying chilled. Uh, degeneration. This is uh, this no longer applies uh, uh, a health uh, uh, synergy, or not synergy. This no longer does uh, health back like it like uh, like it would on the uh, current patch. So, degeneration gives you major sorcery, no health. Structured entropy gives you health. Uh, healing, but no major sorcery. I'm going with the major sorcery option. My blue Betty gives me back about 200 magicka per second and provides major sorcery, sorcery for me as well, and removes the negative effect every 5 seconds. So that this is basically here just to give me back some magicka. Uh, Inner Light is uh, slotted for the max magicka in the major prophecy. So I'm using Inner Light on both bars, and I got the Degeneration and Blue Betty, which will always make sure... It'll make sure that I always have some sort of uh, major sorcery happening. This gives me a chance to, you know, make cheaper potions for the most part. Or, as you'll see, I'll make more expensive potions. See what I'm getting at here in a second. I am using the Eternal Guardian. This thing hits like a Mack truck when it comes to... Uh, execute mode. Uh, he deals 100% more damage. It only costs him 75 ultimate, so it happens pretty often. Uh, it, it hits hard. It really does. Just the regular damage attacks hit hard. The the the, the big swipe hits hard, and the ultimate swipe, the Guardian's Wrath, hits like a truck. It really does. Uh, back bar, I am using Scalding Rune from the Mages Guild. Uh, this is uh, 10,000 flame damage, and then another 10,000, almost 10,000 over 14 seconds. Uh, when that crits, it hits damn heavy. Deep Fissure, 15,550, and breaks the health bar for uh, inflicting uh, major breach. We have Fetcher Infection, that does 17,000 over 10 seconds. Uh, every, every second cast uh, deals 50% more damage, which is huge. And... Provides minor vulnerability while it's up, so this is a this is infallible aether built right into a class ability. So that's pretty cool. Bird of prey. This is literally just here, only for while slotted. You gain minor berserker, increasing your damage done by eight uh, percent. Inner light again, and my eternal guardian. Have all my passes filled out on animal companions, on winner's embrace, on my destruction staff line, on my light armor. I have the first three in the heavy armor. Fighter's Guild, I have Banished the Wicked for my ultimate regen. Mage's Guild, I have ever all my uh, passives filled in. Nothing in Sigic. Uh, Undaunted, I, am, I, got the, I got the passives on the Undaunted. The Undaunted Command for the extra uh, resources back when hitting a Synergy. 
and the Undaunted Metal for the extra max magicka, max stamina, and max uh, health from wearing uh, five pieces light, two pieces, or one piece medium, one piece heavy. Nothing in assault or support. I am a high elf, so I have all of my high elf passages filled, passives filled in. And I do make sure that I have my medicinal use all the way up on my alchemy so that I can... My my durations of my potions will last 47 and a half seconds, and the uh, cooldown on a potion is only 45 seconds, so you can keep your potions up 100% of the time. Alright, so the rotation itself is uh, light attack on stable wall, light attack winner's revenge, light attack degeneration, R swap, light attack deep fissure, light attack scalding rune, Light attack, fetcher, inflection, fully charged, heavy attack, light attack, deep fissure, start over. Now, actually, I'm I'm wearing Mother Sorrow on the back bar, so let me let me let me go over that again. So I, I told that to you wrong. On that back bar, it's going to be deep fissure, scalding rune, fetcher, infection, deep fissure again, then the fully charged, heavy attack, and then it'll bar swap and go back. I'm going to call my Blue Betty out at the beginning of the fight, and I'm going to try to keep it out as often as possible. Sometimes I forget, but uh, we'll see what happens. So considering we got very little time left here, under 10 minutes... Applied Major Breach right there, so that it's as if a tank is hitting it with uh, uh, Pierce Armor, so I'm going to get numbers very similar to being in a dungeon. And here we go! So with that set up right there, 43,317, I normally get higher than that. That was just a really bad parse, in my opinion. Uh, I, I normally get uh, in the 45 to 46k range. Now this uh, this setup is very... Uh, versatile as well. Um, I can use... Uh, I can take off the Mother Sorrow and go with Sororia. Same traits on all the, the jewelry and the, the, the Sororia staff. Um, man, five minutes. Really. Try to do this one. Max magic it doesn't break. Did I mess this up? Did my food wear off? Food wore off. Okay. That was the kitchen. They're off. That, that's what I need. Got a few minutes here. Really? 
gonna run over here and attack. That. Man, it's gonna mess with this. Oh, there we go. Okay. I only get this one in here, and then I may be talking over nothing. So, me, <laughs> bear with me here. There, 47,440. So uh, I've had that one hit 4849 before. So uh, out of the just trying to get this uh, accomplished before they kick me off the server here, um, there is another setup that you can use. Instead of using the Necropotence, you can go with your uh, with a spell strategist. Uh, makes it a little bit harder to sustain because you're losing a lot of magicka in the process, but you're adding a lot of spell damage. So that has actually been the most uh, damaging way that I have done that, done with this particular character. On the Trial Atronach, I hit like 72k, and I can hit almost 52k on the 3 million dummy. Uh, but, uh, not had, it didn't have a chance to go over everything as much as I'd like to, but that is uh, one of the things that I am doing right now that uh, seems to be working pretty well. Uh, sorry to cut this so short, but they're going to kick me off this server to begin with here in a minute anyway. But, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in, guys. If you uh, like what I do and uh, want to see more, please uh, subscribe and please hit that like button so more people can see it and get the help that they're looking for as well. Uh, I try to make things that are very easily easy for people to use to be able to sustain on their own, and I think I've created that with a lot of different builds. I will be doing that uh, here before too long, putting up a bunch of more videos here to uh, kind of make up for the fact that uh, when here in a couple of days I'm going to be starting a new job and it's going to put me put me behind on uh, how often I can do this. But uh, thank you guys very much for everything you do. They're going to be kicking me off the server in uh, one minute, but thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking it out. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And uh, I'll be putting up some more videos to help everyone out in the future. But uh, any questions you have, comment down below. See anything? Excuse me. See anything that I you think I could do differently? Comment down below, and uh, I'll try it out. I, I'm I'm open for suggestions. I'm all about trying to, you know, I, I may miss things as well. I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm not great at this. I just have a affinity to be able to at least pull you know, higher than normal damage and, you know, give the people the ability to do the same as well. But I'm going to stop boring you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it greatly. Everybody have a wonderful day.